everyone, this is Tavin and Sam, and we are here today to give you a tour of the art room. It has been a year in the making and it is still not done, but it's something and I figured I would show you what I've been working on and maybe catch you up on a few things as well as a few art supplies I caught in the local art store a couple days ago. So let's get into it before he chews my hand off. He's been here a year and I swear to God, he's still all puppy. Anyway, I'm gonna let him out and then we'll start. So it occurs to me that I look a little atrocious. My hair is just wet. I'm too lazy and it's too hot to sit beneath the hair dryer. So I'm not going to. But it brings me to the next best part of the art room, the stuffed animals. I don't know why I have an obsession with these things, but they're seriously the best. It started with this little dude here and it just kind of exploded and I think there's maybe one or two I had since I was a kid but ever since I started with the little ones it kind of went from there and got a little carried away. I also have a couple of stitches. This is the only one I think I have in this room but I also have a gigantic cubone who is the best thing ever and would totally be out in the open if not for Sam trying to rip him to pieces once. So he's protected in his little box, which is like, he's a ground Pokemon, so I figure he hangs out in the ground. That's a box, good enough. So that's like the only decor I have currently besides my little billboard over here of some art prints. I do have a bunch of artwork I need to get frames for because my plan is once I back up here, that I'm gonna have this entire wall like full of frames, my little artwork thing over there and just all over like art, art prints, artwork, all kinds of stuff. I just don't have the money to do it right now. So I haven't done it yet, but I'm, it's in the process. It's, it's a year in the works, it's coming. <laughs> but that is what's going on over here. And I actually, maybe I should start on this side of the room. I didn't put too much thought into this. I just picked up the camera because I wanted to talk to you guys. So, I also want to show you Pants. Pants, yeah. He's a mascot, he's a protector of the art room. I got this green thing from a antique store. It's supposed to be a buffet, I think, for like, you know, your dining room, but that's not what I use it for. It's got all my art stuff in it. So you've got some basic paint supplies. There's a whole lot of Liquitex tubes. And then there's like a marker tray there. So that's a little empty. And then in here is a huge catch-all. You've got your scissors and a ton of different Micron markers. I think some of them are even colored. A million different sizes, all kinds of stuff. <clears throat> I have some extra Copics back here. I accidentally bought dupes because they came in packs and then I bought extra by accident. Some Tombow watercolor pens, some scrawler box pencils. And this is just a bunch of random mishmash. These are like liners that aren't the micron type, but are really good. <clears throat> and I apologize if I clear my throat or if I sound funny. I have a sore throat and it's been bugging me for like two weeks, but I also have my Ohuhu drawer. And I'm very ashamed to say this is not all of them. Um, I bought extras when you could only buy, like there were no refills, so I bought extra packs. And now they're doing refills, so I don't need them. But I've also got the Art and Fly markers, which are actually really good. And these are refillable, but I have extras on these because what happened was they sent them to me and my apartment lost them for like two weeks. So they sent me a replacement by the time I realized, you know, they weren't lost. I just hadn't gotten them yet. <clears throat> and down here, I have some fancy marker, or not markers, paint brushes. But I've also got all my extra stuff. I've got all my extra hoo-hoos up here. I've got Faber-Castell water pens here. Um, gel pens are here. I haven't used those in a long time, but they're really good. And I've got all of my colored pencils here. I don't ever intend to use these, so I feel like it's a waste. But these are really good. 
The Caran d'Ache and the Faber-Castell are also good. And then these are just charcoal that I really, really love. So I've kind of got extra supplies here as well as extra puzzles from a Disney collection I'm building. So those are extras that I bought because I want to keep some sealed, but I also want to do a couple of them. So I bought an extra one. Oh, I should not be this winded, but I swear I have got something going on sick wise. <laughs> um, so I also have some giant canvases that don't fit anywhere. <laughs> That's fun. Um, essentially, Anthony tried to convince me that I was an amazing painter and he wanted the giant painting. So he bought me giant canvases. But this, this is a mess. <laughs> I tried to clean it as best as I could. And it looks a lot better than it did, but it's a hot mess. <laughs> um, okay, so here, oh, I don't even know what's in that. I want to say that's my dad's old art stuff. There's yarn, oil painting stuff, there's extra watercolors, and I know this here has Prismacolor markers in it that are actually like, they were on clearance, so I bought a bunch to try them. And they're actually really good quality. Maybe I should give those away. There's some Derwent graph tint. Um, and all of this, this entire thing here is folk art paint because I was doing a lot of painting ceramics and like building uh, my own uh, like styrofoam kind of things like I was building styrofoam I was creating things that you don't want to put like good Liquitex paint on so the folk art paint worked really well for it and actually I have a plan on something to do a little bit later that I think I'm going to build with styrofoam and use that paint for because it has really cool stuff in here like this one the grain is color shift so maybe I'll make a video out of that um, when I actually start to build it and then I have a whole lot of small canvases up there so <laughs> that's just part one of this. Um, as you can see, there's a ton of miniatures. I've kind of gotten into that. There's a giant dragon. And there's a gigantic thing of monster clay. The thing is you have to heat up monster clay to use it. And I don't have a way to really heat it up. I have a heat gun, but I don't have like a microwave or anything. I don't own one. So so I'm not sure the best way to go about heating it up without that. Um, now I did buy Jazz's, uh, basically his boxes. I bought all of them, um, like his ink, his clay, and there was another one. But this is a writing set from that. This is almost a year's worth of scrawler box paper. It's a bunch of different types. Like this is for alcohol. You have, um, I think that's just like a whole bunch of watercolor paper in here and little sheets. So I kind of kept that to itself. I also have my cardstock separated because since I invested in a few things, which you've already seen, but I'll go over again a little bit later, I can now print coloring pages with heavy duty paper and use my markers on them. So I've got the really heavy stuff and I've got slightly, like it's dense, but it's not as heavy. So I split them and have them nicely set up. I also have, <clears throat> excuse me, pan pastels that came from a set from Jazza. I've got my watercolors. Love these guys, love these, they're so cute. I don't know if I've ever used them in a video, so maybe I should. Um, I've got some gouache, a paint palette, and this is alcohol ink. It's alcohol and um, like India ink in here. So that's what I have there. Now, this one here is nothing but clay. And I mean it, like all of these are like the individual Sculpies. I went kind of crazy. This is like the bigger uh, containers of Sculpey that you can buy. These are clay tools. These are a bunch of clay tools. It's it's insane how much is actually in there. I also have a painting kit 
that I got from Jazza with a bunch of paint. And this is for the miniatures that are up here. So like, if I ever have the patience to try it, which I really would like to, um, basically you prime them, you paint them, you have special paint, you have little paint palette, you have special miniature brushes, and you can make terrain with it too. Like this is like a little terrain pieces that came with the kit. So like I could make that and do all kinds of fun stuff. And this is like little additives. I believe for the alcohol ink, it gives it a shimmer. Uh, maybe I should take these out and show you guys and actually try to use them on a coloring page. Um, I'm not even sure what this one is. This is just random craft supplies. <laughs> it's good to have. This box is a writing box. I've started writing again. So basically anything in that box is old stories like this is the second novel i ever tried to write so it's old stories it's pieces of stories it's things like that and the two on the very bottom there florals and i don't even know what this is oh it's jazza <laughs> so it's more art stuff so that's in there and this is the foam i was talking about earlier excuse me Basically, I plan to cut it up and kind of glue it together to create something with it and then kind of paint it. I need to figure out how to protect it so I can put it outside without it being damaged, especially with a tropical storm coming. But I was considering maybe doing something simple like pumpkins or more likely I was probably going to try my hand at Pokemon to decorate the front of my yard. But I'm kind of scared someone might steal me if I do that. So we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. I don't know yet. <clears throat> Time will tell. So, my Anthony made a big bench for me. And I kind of love it because it fits everything I need. Down here are all of my paper surfaces. Like, all of these are watercolors. And all of this is sketchbooks I have to fill. There's maybe one or two that have been filled already, but the rest have to be done. Like, they have to be filled. So I'm really excited to get to that. And it kind of makes me happy to see it. Um, these are paint brushes for acrylic painting that some were on clearance, others I got as Christmas gifts. These were on clearance for oil painting. I have never tried oil painting, but I would like to. I'm just afraid of it. I think I might like it a little bit more than acrylic though, because there's a longer drying time so you could blend it more or something. I'm not 100%, correct me if I'm wrong. Down here, we have what every colorist on my channel probably is actually interested in seeing. I have all of my coloring books down here in that thing. I'm not sure what's in it. But I have a lot of Coloring Heaven or Haven. I've got almost every Camilla D'Erica book, a ton of Kirby Rosanna's, Johanna Basford. Um, there's this really cool one I want to show you guys. Um, she's a beautiful artist and I really want to try and paint with, paint with it. It's a watercolor coloring book. I had never seen it before, but I really think I want to try and do a page with you guys. So I'm going to put that aside. There's also, I bought one from Mariella Budek, a little bit of Jade Summer. Um, Tatiana Bogema Stolova, I want to say. And there's a few other randoms that I received as gifts, things like that. So there's a lot in here that I haven't colored much of. Um, I really want to take out my Halloween stuff already. It's not even September, but I'm really excited for Halloween for some reason. So I think I'm going to start on the Halloween coloring, which means Dierico would be perfect to delve into. So you might start seeing pictures from her books start appearing on my channel because I've got to get into them. I have to get over the fear of messing things up. <laughs> and that's the big thing with me. It's like, I don't want to mess up her beautiful drawings, but they're just going to waste. So in here, I think, I don't even know what it is. So it's a small little Bristol pad from Merkers in very, very tiny canvases. That's what's in there. <laughs> okay. 
these are a couple different things so i do my own drawings um and so i've bought some art books like different you know techniques to draw to get anatomy to get facial features things like that so there's those in there but there's also a lot of art books i've bought from instagram artists um i do have camilla de Erico's haikala there's um i can't remember her name i think it's like schmo draws or something like that and then one of my favorites is chrissy zulu she releases her art books and they're beautiful so i really i collect all her stuff too and then there's a sketchbook uh case in here that is also from jazza and it has a few interesting things maybe i should also take that out and kind of go over it with you guys i'm wondering if that should be a different video now i don't know but that's what that is essentially is art supplies um it came with a sketchbook and a mixed media book so i think i'll set this aside so we can go over that as well let me just throw it up here okay oh now i gotta stand up we also have my dad's shelf that has a lot of the ceramic figures i was talking about it's these guys these are what i like to paint um with that folk art paint the really cheap michael stuff i really need to redo this one though especially with halloween coming so i'll probably work on these three throughout the upcoming months um this is the very first clay thing i ever tried to do it's an alien egg <laughs> it does not look like an alien egg or a xenomorph egg or whatever but i tried and then this was the second one he turned out much better he's obviously the grinch um he's very unstable and i'm pretty sure the move broke off some of his fingers but i was really proud of him and so now we're at a bunch of paint brushes i don't even know what some of them are I'm fairly certain these are miniature brushes to paint those miniature figures I showed you. Oops, wrong way. These, I think, are extra watercolor brushes. I know for sure this one is. Um, these came from scrawler boxes. This is... Scrawler? craft or scrawler box i can't quite remember and these beautiful things are watercolor brushes i love the feel of watercolor brushes they are the best brushes ever so i'm gonna swing you around we're gonna walk back over and i'm gonna show you my new writing area i don't remember if i ever announced that i started buying copic markers but I did, and I bought a lot of them. So that's what those are. They're beautiful. I need to get more, but at the same time, I kind of think I need to get less. Because I already have so many. I have a marker problem. I think that's the best thing to say. Um, I definitely have a problem with collecting markers. So that's my current collection, my current stash of markers. And I have a new board, oops, zoom out, which doesn't have a lot to it right now. You wouldn't really know what it was without me telling you. This is basically my writing board. Come on, come on, son. I, I picked this room because it has three windows. It's the hottest room in the freaking house and it still seems dark in the video. This is not fair. <laughs> so this is my writing board basically. Um, I bought a bunch of sticky notes. I bought, you know, things. I brought home for things from work so I could start to kind of fill it out. Character details, plot details, things like that can all have a space on the board so I can keep track of what I want to happen in my story. But right now, it's empty. It's naked because all of it is in this red notebook here because for some reason I decided to start writing in that instead. So it's, it's a work in progress as well. Maybe I'll keep you updated. But one of the other things I really invested in was an iPad. I finally did it. Finally got myself an iPad to go 
with the idea that I can finally start doing nice line art and providing coloring pages to people because there was no way I could think to do it and make it make sense without some way to get it onto a computer. So I have an iPad, I'll be able to make the lines look nice, make them look professional, and then hopefully I'll be able to start getting you guys some coloring pages. Because I have a few already that would look amazing if the details come through. Which also brings me to this guy. I finally broke down and got a printer. I was so proud of myself. It is such a nice printer too. So not only can I print other people's coloring pages, but I can scan my artwork into a file on the computer. I was very upset when I was going through my old sketchbooks and I realized that the colors from the markers, like the Ohuhu markers, had changed. My artwork will never look the same, ever. So I have a scanner now that will be able to, you know, make it look better, make it look crisp, clean, color correct, things like that, make it look exactly how I want so that I can have it forever or I can sell a print, or however I want to do it, I have the ability to do it now and I'm so excited, <laughs> so happy. But that was the other big investment that I made. And then I have my demonic little stitch that's nowhere near done, poor stitch. Um, but this is the easel that I got for my birthday about a year ago. It's huge, but it is large enough for the easels that Anthony has provided me. And it is still accessible for me to do painting when I feel so inclined. Sorry about that abrupt cut there. I really needed to take a couple minutes to catch my breath. And then after that, I went and grabbed some lunch. But that's pretty much everything I have going on in the art studio as of now. And I'll be sure to kind of keep you updated as things come together, whether it's getting artwork framed or just kind of filling out my storyboard a little bit more, just things that might come into pieces that I wasn't able to show you today. I think the next video is probably going to be going over some art supplies that I found that I didn't even know existed and testing them out on coloring pages or just swatching them and see how they look on different types of media. I'm also planning on pulling different books that I'm going to use for the fall season as well as my favorite holiday of Halloween. So I hope to see you guys next week. If you're in Florida, be sure to stay dry and everyone else, I will see you next week.